What is up, boo boo gang? How's that? We're going to react to Locksmith Ghost featuring Jaron Benton. Shout out to all the subscribers worldwide, man. Worldwide. Worldwide, man. Everybody. All of y'all. Shout out to everybody that's working hard, man. Mm -hmm. On that 9 to 5, on that plantation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pay, paying them bills, doing what you got to do to make it through the day. Shout yeah. out to you. My boy, Locksmith. Locksmith, lyrical, lyrical ability. You know what I'm saying? Lyrically inclined. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I support that brother. You know what I'm saying? Because he represents that pure hip hop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Lyricism to the epitome. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So, let's go, man. Are you ready? Let's get into it. What's the name of this joint? It's called Ghost. Cool. And um, who you got on here with him? Yeah, Darren Benton. Some. Uh -huh. Some dude. Some dude. They praise you. Yeah. They don't give you your flowers while you're here. They wait till you die to give you your flowers. You feel what I'm saying? That's definitely true. I mean, yeah. treat you like crap. You know what I'm saying? When you were alive, but then when you're dead, like you was the greatest. Like, look at all the people that's supporting X now. But when he was here, nobody was showing that nigga no love yeah. like that, man. But he also, he really doesn't. He gets mistreated too. Yeah. Because yeah. they take his, like, yeah, his true. charges and his yeah, cases true. and stuff. Yeah, like, true, too, true so. that. True. But there's a lot of people that actually like get praised when they, you know, pass away. So, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's a legend when they die. Damn, niggas shit on dude and turn around and praise you and death. Fuck that fake love, I'd rather take a stick through the chest. I'm the while I'm breathing. Wait till I'm a court to show remorse. You gotta go through rigor mortis for support. Hey, this a piss through a plastic straw. Smack the bitch, niggas, bodies get wrapped with a bag of golf. Bodies get hacked with saw. These bitches be packed with flaws. So she put the filters on the and that's what attract the. 
blood on the streets, they clutching the heat. I should party and believe we still the government cheat. Moral of the story, half the shit you see is a scam. Niggas do anything for a hit on the ground. Two turntables in the mic of my Yo, you heard Locksman say on his album, he said clout. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, it's horrible what shit is, man. I mean, I can see, I can see they and go on and on about the things that people do for money, and we like we can make probably an hour video. Yeah. And they had to make a part two. The list, the list, the you list. Know what and more list okay. goes on. Hey man. <sighs> One day you're gonna get old, young ladies, and everything is you're gonna get bigger, you're gonna get out of shape, and you ain't gonna be nothing like you is today, man. So educate your mind. And plan for the future, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just do something else that's going to generate money. Don't, don't think that your body is going to do it because you're going to get old one day. Thanks. I mean, ain't nobody going to, like, nobody want to see no wrinkle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> wrinkle, on, saggy. Like on the grams, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, um, man. <laughs> Party and believe we still the government cheese. Moral of the story, half the shit you see is a scam. Niggas do anything for a hit on the ground. Two turn tables and a mic in my hands. Niggas dying from serve, all these frightening them vans. If I don't get rich, bitch, I'ma go nuts for the dice and the cell go up. What the fuck? Tell you that boy lyrical ability, man. Like, man, I gotta listen to this song, you know what I mean? In the earphones, man. And get Thanks. them balls, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do that later. You know what I'm saying? Oh my I'm gonna gosh. get them balls, but yeah, man. Killer. Boxsmith, man. A lot of stuff. Always fan. Real niggas do real things, man. Mm -hmm. So let me tell y'all, what's the definition of a real nigga to you? Like, people say, I'm a real nigga. What's real to you? Um. Since that was the hook. Of the song, real niggas do real things. What? What's a real nigga to you? Before you say it, we got a lot of people that walk around here and say that they, I'm real. I'm a real nigga. Mm -hmm. I do real things. Right. Define that. At the end of the day, it's not just words; it's also actions. So if you say you're real, you actually have to be real, and you actually have to show actions that you're real. But going to a deep. <laughs> 
I want you to go deeper. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, in what aspect? Because there's a lot of different aspects that no, you have to be real in. There's only one aspect. What's that? Is it is it the street life or is it the... Street life don't matter. Exactly. It doesn't. Yeah. To me, my definition of a real nigga or a real a real man, a real dude, mm -hmm. is somebody that has morals, values, principles, a code. He's cut from a cloth to where he's he's uh, he lives honorable. Right. You know what I'm saying? Killing niggas and selling drugs don't make you a real nigga. That's destructive behavior. Right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Nothing about that is real. It's destructive. Mm -hmm. You killing people. People may try to kill you. You selling poison to your to your people. You ain't gang terrorizing your neighborhood. That's not real. That's fake. That is a destructive avenue. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we gotta start defining what real is and what real not. Taking care of your family, being there for your family, supporting your family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Financially, mentally, physically, all that. You know what I'm saying? Being positive, living for something, standing for something. That's a real dude. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to clarify that. You did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, blowing niggas' heads off ain't, ain't real. This is that is destructive like a mug. Yeah. You know, matter how you try to put it, slice it and dice it. Mm -hmm. So, man, we got to start, you know what I'm saying, breaking that down to the youth so they can understand what's what. Right. You know what I mean? But shout out to that boy Locksmith, man. Shout out. Support this brother. He's a he's a real one. You know why he's a real one? And I didn't even want to even say it, right? <laughs> but we reacted to his freestyle on uh, K Slay Shay Forty Five show, and the dude put us, the brother put us on his uh, his Instagram. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? And his Twitter. And his Twitter, giving us. Know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I respect that dude because he know that we supporting him, <coughs> and he supporting us. Right. This is what real men do. You know what I'm saying? We support each other. This is how people form unity. You know, so within their community. Yeah. You dead. Not just sit here and get a big head and all of a sudden they start feeling themselves. You dead. You know who I'm talking about out there. You know. Yeah. Anyway, shout out to this boy Locksmith. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe if you haven't already. You know what I'm saying? Support this video. Share this video. He represents that pure hip hop form. Shout out to him and shout out to everybody else, man. We out, man. Peace. Peace out.